Very different. Now, I want you to look at this. A crueler, right? We know this, right? Donut? I love this. <laughs> but what about this? Chicken breast, okay? Question at the top. Which of these two foods has more calories? So I'm hearing donut. What do you guys think? Chicken breast, someone said. They're the same. Donut, chicken breast, right? So if you listen to, if you listen to the popular media, right? Just lower your calories. It doesn't matter. You can eat donuts all day, or you can eat chicken breasts all day, and you're gonna lose weight. And they're right, except what? I can eat a lot of donuts. If I sit down with a box of cooler donuts, I can go through two, three of those. I'm not gonna go through 24 chicken breasts. Okay? And neither are you. It's a big difference. Why? Because we know this intuitively. We know this. How many of you guys can sit down and go through 24 chicken breasts? I can go through, I can get close to 24 donuts, I'll tell you. I'm hungry. I can get hungry. What's the difference between these two foods? Look, 20 grams of fat, 11 grams of fat. The donut, 18 grams of carb. The chicken breast, 2 grams of carbohydrate. The donut, 2 grams of protein. The chicken breast, 37 grams of protein. These ratios of fat, carbohydrate, and protein are information for the body. It's more than just calories. It's information. It's like downloading a software program on your computer. And it sends hormonal signals to say, hey, Jade, burn fat. Or, hey, Jade, store some fat. And more importantly, those hormones speak to hunger, cravings, and energy. Now, I ask you guys this. If I said you get nothing else to eat for the rest of the day, Okay? I'm except two donuts in the morning or two chicken breasts in the morning. That's all you get all day. Which is gonna keep you full for longer? Chicken. Which is gonna balance your cravings for longer? Chicken. Which is gonna keep your energy level up for longer? Chicken. That's right. And here's an interesting thing. Here's what we do when we're playing the weight loss game. Let me give you the scenario, because I know it well, and I bet you you know it well. I go out tonight, I eat a big two boxes of pizza, you know, I go through two large pizzas, right, <coughs> and some beer. And I wake up the next morning, I'm like, man, God, all that pizza I ate, I'm just going to skip breakfast today, right, because I'm playing a weight loss game. Then I, then I get to lunch, and I'm like, all that pizza I had yesterday, I'm going to skip lunch, or I'm just going to have a little bit of a salad. Then I get home at the end of 5 o'clock after work's done, and I eat continuous meal. I sit down, and I eat, and I eat meat from 5 to 11 o'clock, <laughs> right? That is the weight loss game. That's what focusing on weight loss and not hormones will do. If instead I woke up and said I'm going to eat a balanced protein, carbohydrate, and fat meal, even though I had all that pizza, and I'm going to eat in a couple more hours an apple and a handful of almonds, in a couple more hours I'm going to do, you see what I'm doing? Now I'm eating preemptively and I'm eating for fat loss, not weight loss. We have to stop playing the weight loss game. Now, look at this picture. Weight loss versus fat loss. Okay? Now, Keone and I, we see people in our office all day. Before they actually come in, our secretary gives us their chart, and we look at their chart notes. And we see a BMI, body mass index. Okay? It's a measure of basically your, your weight and your body structure. We see that BMI, we say, we see it 33.9. It's the same for both of these people. But if we didn't see these people, I'm going to say they are both obese. Okay? Are these people both obese? They are definitely not. And here's the problem, because the average physician does not know the distinction between weight loss and fat loss. Now, this, let's say this person goes on a weight loss diet. Okay? Eat less, exercise more. They're going to get smaller, right? He's an apple shape, he's going to become a smaller apple shape. <laughs> That's what's going to happen on the weight loss diet, okay? He's going to become a smaller apple shape. He goes on a fat loss diet, he becomes him. Or she becomes lean and muscular, okay? That is the difference. Weight loss will not change your shape. So, just to wrap up, tools for weight loss. This is what you've been told over and over again. Eat less and exercise more, right? And do aerobic exercise in the aerobic zone. Go for a job. This will 
not work in the long run. And you should be able to tell me now why it won't. Because it changes hormones in a negative direction. Okay? It will not work in the long run. Tools for fat loss. Okay? A hormonally balanced diet. What does a hormonally balanced diet look like? It is a diet that is higher in protein and fiber. And why? Because those are the things that are going to do what? Satiate you. They're going to keep you full for longer. They're going to balance <coughs> cravings. Right? They're going to sustain your energy. Right? That's what we mean by that. Weight training needs to be the centerpiece of a fat loss exercise program. Why? Because of what I told you, the bees, breathless, burning, heavy in heat. And in addition to that, interval training. What is that? That is where you push, remember the sprinter and the marathon runner? You push to discomfort, you rest until you can push to discomfort again. Okay? That's how you do hormonal fat loss versus caloric weight loss. So, here is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Now, let's go back to that Golden Corral example, okay? You tell me what we see when we go to Golden Corral. I'll tell you what I see most of the time. I see someone walking around putting rice on top of pasta, on top of wheat rolls, on top of more pasta. Then I see a big piece of fatty meat and then wedged between all that white food and that big piece of fatty meat, I might see three green beans if I can find them. Okay? This, that is, this is the fat loss program. You go to Golden Corral, you put broccoli on top of uh, salad, on top of green beans, on top of cauliflower. Then there's a lean piece of meat. And wedged between all that green stuff and that lean meat is a little bit of white food. Right? That is the difference. You guys can picture that meal, right? That is the difference. So, hopefully now you kind of understand why Keone and I put that on our, our book. Can you eat more and still burn fat? You absolutely can. Remember that egg white omelet? Can you work out less? You absolutely can. Remember that sprinter? If you do it the right way. Then you lose weight while you rest. What does that mean? If you do things the right way, the smart way, you go home and you sit on the couch and you come home at 5 o'clock and instead of eating continuous meal for the rest of the evening, you're satisfied and you're burning fat. Okay? So, I will take questions now. I really appreciate you guys uh, having us.